Hello there, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist at the Tech Travel Geeks, and this is the Tech Travel Geeks setup video of the Honor 20e. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks on YouTube. Right then, if you haven't already seen it, we do also have an unboxing video of the Honor 20e. In this video, we will go through the setup process for the Honor 20e, and I'm going to start off by turning the device around and having a look for where to find the SIM tray. And in this case, it's at the top of the device. It's at the very top there. So I'm going to get my SIM ejector tool, clip out the SIM tray and have a look at it. Now this SIM tray is made out of plastic and it has two slots. It's a hybrid slot. So you have space for one SIM card and another SIM card, or one SIM card, and as I'm about to do, a memory card. You can use that memory card for downloading content from Netflix or other apps and having it keep your device storage relatively clutter free, or you can use it for your pictures, videos, and other content recorded using the camera. So I've just put in the SIM card and the memory card. It's slotted in nicely. And as you can see, it's a very striking blue at the top of the device, as well as around the whole frame of it. That is really quite good. Now, what I'm going to do is long press and switch on the Honor 20e. So Honor logo, and you can see on that full high definition screen, the really bright, saturated Honor logo here. And at the bottom, it says powered by Android. Now, despite this being an Honor device launched in the middle of 2020, we're currently at the end of July 2020, this has Google Play services installed. So it will have Google Play Store as well as many other features that a lot of people in Western markets expect nowadays. So let's start off. I'm going with English, United Kingdom. That's where I'm based. I trust Huawei with my data. I'm just going to set this up as a new device. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network. And now that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network, you may be prompted to sign in. But in this case, it's just a first connection check that my router does. And now we're going to apparently pop into the Google Play store and Google Play services login. So bear with me. And so there we are. I've logged into my Google account. I'm now going to go and just check everything. I'm happy with all options here because I trust Google just the same way as I trust Huawei, unlike the US government. Google Assistant, I already have voice match with other devices as well as my home speaker and Nest gear. And now it's going to prompt me to log into with my Huawei ID. Okay, then I'm logged into my Huawei ID. Now I'm going to set up a fingerprint ID on that very handily positioned fingerprint scanner. But first we need to set up a pin. If have done that, so there's a very handy explanation of how and where to place your finger on the fingerprint scanner of the shiny back of the Honor 20e. And it seems to be a pretty responsive fingerprint scanner in its setup. I'm also getting a little bit of haptic feedback here. So that was a very fast option. Now let's set up face unlock. See how that, see how that selfie camera, which in this case is an eight megapixel one, how that works. So I'm going to agree. Wow, that was really fast. So setup complete. I enable all MUI services. I totally trust Huawei with everything I do. So there we go. And let's keep our software up to date. Enable automatic overnight updates. And there we have it. We're into the Honor 20e. And it's now connected. I have an active SIM card in it. It's um, a three SIM card. It's not my main one. But for the next couple of weeks, whilst I'm reviewing this device, it will be used quite heavily. 
Now there's a few setup messages and Google Play will be working hard to catch up here. Now, first impressions are the device's ergonomics, how it feels in the hand and how it's used, are very nice. It feels solid, but also light. That plastic back or that shiny back, which is not made of glass, feels quite nicely shaped. So it's slightly curved at the sides and that fingerprint scanner on the back makes unlocking your device really, really simple. So I really like that. Not only that, the screen itself, this full high definition screen, which is a really nice size as well. This is 6.2 inches, so not as big as the one we saw on the Honor 9X Lite, but nice and crisp. The color saturation is nice. And the white is quite bright. Let's check what the brightness is. It's at half, half its brightness level. I'm going to crank that up and it is very bright at full brightness. So really good brightness levels on this LCD panel. Now, Google Play Store, as you can see, I'm logged in. You can also check for updates and security checks, which is what Google does. So no updates currently available and this may require an update of the store itself. Let's have a quick look at that. So Play Store version for all devices, a new version will be downloaded. That's why it has, isn't updating any apps just yet. So we'll leave that in the background doing its job. And there's also a software update. So this is obviously running MUI in version nine. This will install the new version of MUI, which is now restarting. So bear with me whilst the upgrade happens, and then we'll be back. Well, that was a relatively quick update and restart. I've just restarted the device. It took about three minutes and it's now updated to the newer version of MUI. Still MUI 9, as we'll have a look at now. So as you can see, it's the Honor 20E and the build number is 91. So it's the newer version of MUI 9, which is perfectly usable. It's still a very modern version of MUI and seems to work. I think one of the reasons this device is launching with Android 9 and MUI 9 is specifically so that they can still sell this device with the Google Play Store on it. Now, overall, the Honor 20e is a great device. The feel in hand is excellent. So for those of you considering a new smartphone in the middle of 2020, you have some good options. And Honor are still there offering functional Android devices with Google Play services. As we recently saw, the Honor 9X Lite is also available. And this is a bigger screen, same chipset, very similar setup. Both devices also have NFC, which can be used for Google Pay or the London Tube or any other public transport system that offers the option to use contactless. So great devices from Honor. What we're going to do is come up with some newer videos in the coming weeks whilst we review the Honor 20 as well as the Honor 9X Lite and do some comparisons between devices. Both these devices are under £200. The Honor 20 is priced slightly less. It's closer to the £150 price mark. So this in real terms will be comparable to say the Nokia 5.3 and other devices on the market. So do let us know what you would like this compared to, what you think you'd like to know more of in the coming weeks. And just leave us a comment below this video to let us know what you'd like to know and what you'd like it compared to. But for now, we're going to wrap up this video with the lovely shiny Honor 20e. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. and. For now, thanks from us and goodbye.